Great. Why, thank you. I'll take that. Light Turian armor. That could be worthwhile. And we've got a striker pistol. Let's check out if uh, that is actually good for Garrus. Or uh, if it's junk. Uh, well, it's slightly better than what he's got on in some ways. I mean, it's got a lot more shields, but it does not have any tech biotic protection. I'm not sure that I want to switch to that. Hmm. I don't know. I think the shields overall is probably better for us. So I guess I'll put it on. And Tally has no business with any of that armor, unfortunately. Alright, and then we got a striker pistol, which is pretty junky, so we won't worry about it. I'll probably save up and uh, buy us the best possible pistol that we can get. It may take a while, but eventually, eventually uh, we'll get a really powerful pistol, and that will put us uh, leagues above everyone else. I always found it kind of odd that you... Uh, were offered such powerful weapons so early in the game because if you're willing to save, you can eventually get that. Got doors on both sides. But it looks like based on what I was seeing over there, that's probably where we need to go. Looks like you're ready to hide behind these things. Just because we're biotics doesn't mean we don't deserve to be treated fairly. Sure, I agree. Some anti-personnel rounds and armor plating. That could be nice. What does the armor plating do for us? What do I have in here anyways? Ah, uh, stuff against smash damage. Damage protection. Why, thank you. I will take that. I don't think that actually worked. I thought I could just go back and uh, get that. Um, I'll go ahead and give you the uh, motorized joints. Seems nice for you. That way we slightly power up our uh, crew here. Technician kit. We have toxic seals for an armor upgrade and recoil damper. Sounds like interesting stuff. Tally can have those toxic, uh, toxic seals. 40 toxin resistance. That's really nice. Sure, we'll give you that. And uh, let's check out what the uh, recoil damper is. It is not there. How about here? There it is. 12 weapon stability. That seems kind of nice. Let's see here. You were shotguns and uh, you were sniper rifles. You should probably have it on your sniper rifle. That seems like that would be a really good idea for Garrus to have that. Get some extra recoil dampening for him. Makes him a better shot with his sniper rifle. I wonder if we were to pull out our guns if everyone would go hostile. Oh, I can't move. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? Where are the investigators? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. Safe? They're not safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father... My children will be helpless. Yeah, but you can't help them now. You became a murderer. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. 
Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins, too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. I know this isn't easy. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. You mean there isn't an escort quest? Well, hell, I believe you. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. All right, we should uh, return to the Normandy and notify the Alliance of Kyle's surrender. They'll want to dispatch a ship to take him into custody. I will surrender myself to the Alliance outside the compound gates in one hour, Commander. I give you my word. Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Um, yeah. <laughs> Th thanks for letting me know all of that again. It looks like uh, if we hadn't agreed to that, we probably would have been shot in the back, because uh, these two are holding what looks like shotguns. This is certainly a dangerous compound. It would have been rough getting in here. Is that a ladder? That looks like a ladder, but it doesn't go anywhere. Huh. Interesting. There's a storage locker over here, though. Let's check it out. Got an edge pistol, scimitar shotgun, and a hurricane shotgun. Wonder if any of those are, uh, worth my while. Okay, and basically the same thing I've got, so Tally can have that one. There you go, Tally. Now you've got an epic shotgun. Fantastic. There's probably more stuff around here, and, uh, if we look long enough, we could probably find plenty of little goodies. But I'm not going to worry myself too much with finding all of the little tiny goodies in this game because there's just way too much to actually find. What I am going to try and worry myself with is finding stuff that will uh, actually expand on the lore of the universe. Out of curiosity, I have to wonder if we can go in here without setting off an incident. So before I actually try to go in here, I am going to go ahead and save off camera real quick and then we'll be right back. Out of curiosity, I was uh, checking in the menus and uh, there's a quick save button, so I'll probably use that from now on just to make things uh, quicker in the future. Got an ion containment cell easily decrypted uh, container here. We'll see if it's as easy as it tells me it is. Eh, that wasn't too bad. Sniper rifle, some more heavy armor. Unfortunately, most of this stuff is not really worthwhile to me. Let's see if people are going to flip out with me coming in here. No, nope, they seem to be uh, pretty okay. Those other men from the Alliance? I'm pretty sure they didn't try to kill Father Kyle. It sounds like he just basically told you to turn on him. To turn on them, I suppose. So there is an upstairs. Let's take a look around the area, though. See if there's anything down here. Oh, there's something over here. Malfunctioning object with some armor plating. Not bad. Technician kit. More armor plating, and a Chameleon Tool 3. Interesting. 
What sort of Omni tool is that? Uh, let's see here. This is my Omni tool, I believe. No, that's an amp. Do I even have an Omni tool? No, you are the one who has an Omni tool. So that has a tech cooldown bonus, med range bonus, shield bonus. Um, I think the tech cooldown might be better than her current. Let's see, it looks like you've got the same kind of tool. And me, I've only got uh, an amp, because I'm magical. All right, so I'll give the chameleon tool to you, I think. Or as some people would say it, a chameleon tool. <laughs> if you get that reference, you are awesome. You are someone I would probably sit around and watch TV with. <laughs> All right, let's see, is there anything else in here? There might be something up the stairs to the side. Just another cultist over here. Nice and quiet in here. No music whatsoever. What's this? That looks like it should be something, but apparently not. All right, well, I guess we have uh, drained this area of its resources. No, oh, maybe not. There's a little room back here. Anything back here? Aid station. Just Metagel. And another med kit. There's just lots of medical stuff around here. Nothing that I really need. All right, well, out we go. We have found what we are going to find. What is it on my map that's, uh... Oh, it's control room over here. Hmm. So there's probably something I could have turned off if I had, uh... barged in here instead of, uh... being nice. Giving myself an advantage, uh, in the battle ahead. But, we did not battle. Instead, uh, we made peace. We made peace with the crazy cult. If only the FBI could do that in real life. <laughs> Who am I kidding? They shoot first. Okay. Well, I'll do a uh, brief check over in this direction. Maybe we can find a few more resources on this planet. I do not recall if there is uh, any way to increase our radar area, but I do kind of recall going back and forth across planets, and I don't know that I really want to do that. Because, I mean, as you can see, it's, it's really rough going up uh, and down the walls of these canyons here. Any Thresher Maws? It's like basically nothing over here. Yeah, so you can kind of see things on the edge of your radar like that. That's pretty much your only way of uh, searching out the minerals. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure that they don't actually appear on the map until you actually find them. So, what we find, we'll find. If we don't find it, who the hell cares? I'm sure we're going to have more money than we need by the end of this game anyway. Mainly, I just want to find uh, different resources to uh, check them out, you know? And I'm sure we will eventually come across some different resources. I think that was a really quick loading screen there.
Oh. What was that? Something on the edge of my map, and it looks like minerals. So, yeah, there was uh, multiple minerals on this planet after all. Where the hell are these minerals? It's like supposed to be right around here. Just up a little bit further. Aha! There we are. So, yeah, I could be doing this. Oh, that's nice. Level terrain my ass. Okay, uh, what, what is this? It's uranium. Let's see if we can do something with it. Good enough. Rare element surveyed. We have successfully surveyed a large deposit of uranium. All right. So that gave us money and experience, but nothing else really. So we found a couple of deposits here. I'm gonna say that's good enough and we should just leave now. Let's return. I got money. All right, do we need to uh, to go talk to someone over here? Tell them about what we did? I have no idea. Let's see, what does our journal have to say about this? Major Kyle. Admiral Hackett needs to be informed so he can arrange for a team to arrest Major Kyle. Okay, um, so we do need to inform him. The question, however, becomes, how does one inform him? What's on my map here? It's galaxy map? Maybe when we're uh, going back to somewhere else, we will inform him. Because I don't believe there is another way that I can inform him unless we can just like talk to Joker to open a channel. Which I don't think we can. I suppose I can talk to Presley as well. What's up, Joker? Commander. Something you need? Uh, no, I guess not. Because we can only get a ship status report. Uh, I guess I'll ask about it though. What is the ship status? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet, if you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. Sounds good, Joker. See you later. I have to go. All right, see you. So we got a codex entry here, ships and vehicles. The Normandy is a prototype starship developed by the Human Systems Alliance with the assistance of the Citadel Council. It is optimized for scouting and reconnaissance missions in unstable regions using state-of-the-art stealth technology. For most ships, the heat generated through standard operations is easily detectable against the absolute zero background of space. The Normandy, however, is able to temporarily sink this heat within the hull. Combined with refrigeration of the exterior hull, the ship can travel undetected for hours or drift passively for days of covert observation. This is not without risk. The stored heat must eventually be radiated or it will build to levels capable of cooking the crew alive. Another component of the stealth system is the Normandy's revolutionary Tantalus Drive, a Mass Effect core twice the standard size. The Tantalus Drive generates mass concentrations that the Normandy falls into, allowing it to move without the use of heat-emitting thrusters. Awesome. 